We're at a facility in southern Pennsylvania run by a company called Tripwire South. They're a U.S. government contractor specializing in munitions, explosives, explosive detection. We're going to go over how those explosions in Lebanon might have played out uh, on walkie-talkies and pagers. For young people who don't know what a pager is, these were devices that people used in the 80s and 90s before the cell phones became so prevalent. Uh, people would page you, sending a number to your pager, it would go off, you wear it on your belt, you get a signal. Uh, it would vibrate, it would go off, and a number would come up on the pager, and you would have to call that number. What we're using for today's demonstration is going to be a, what's called a sheet explosive. It's basically PETN with a plasticizer. The format is safe this way, and for the purpose of our demonstration, obviously, we want safety. To see what kind of damage the PETN could do, we first detonated a strip of it on a table. Okay, Ryan. Then we strapped a pager rigged with PETN onto the waist of a dummy. This is a person. What, what happens to the person? Remember, a human body is pretty resilient, uh, so it'll absorb some of that energy, but it's going to be catastrophic, it, what, what, what just took place here. Finally, we put PETN inside a walkie-talkie and strapped it near the head of a dummy. This was, again, at its head for a human. It would take what? It would really maybe blow them in half? Well, with that, the way the explosive, in my opinion, would be oriented, when they put it to their head, it's acting almost like a, a claymore, right? So you have more resistance in the back pushing everything forward, so it would be coming at the person. Um, so yes, it, it would be devastating uh, if it were in your hand or close to your head. A lot of these people who were attacked were probably in crowded places, and that could, even with a very tiny targeted bomb could cause collateral damage, right? How much do you Correct. think collateral damage? Uh, a lot of people are injured. I don't think it's so many pagers and self and other devices. I think it's more fragmentation associated with that injuring other people. So less devices, but more injuries because it's, it's affecting a mass populace.